Well, you guys are talking a lot about uh, how do we find the ligule in a plant, and so I'm going to try to show you guys on a crabgrass plant, which is not a grass that we'll be IDing, but one of the beauties of crabgrass is that it has a very large ligule. So this is the crabgrass plant right here, and at the base of the sheath where the leaf extends out is where you're going to find the ligule. So what we'll do in class is we'll actually take that top leaf and hold it and then pull it to the side. And you can see this very large membranous structure right here next to my finger. That is a ligule. Let's see if I can get it a little bit closer. So the ligule is right here. It's this structure right here that's very thin and membranous. And on a crabgrass plant, it's very large. Now I'm holding a Bermuda grass plant. We'll look for the ligule the same way. But one of the first things that we should notice, and you can kind of see just above my finger here, the hairs on the plant. That helps us identify this as a warm season grass. Most cool season grasses don't have hairs. We'll look for the ligule the same way. The way we'll do that is we'll take the leaf, grasp it in our fingers, and then we'll pull it down to the side. And what we should see is very clearly a, a tuft of hairs. And we can see that very clearly there. And that is a warm season ligule, a hairy ligule. And you can see very clearly right there that there's a tuft of hairs that we're going to want to look at further. And when we have magnification, it becomes even easier. And that's hopefully what you'll see in lab tomorrow.